Mwabili, wabade wo reporter ezo kwa tawabantu ukubatu lugunya na abamu ukubasiwa kwa abantu wana abamu wabasiwa kwezonga ziba zabi abu fuzi well thank you so much for subscribing to the buzz UG and in case you haven't subscribed kindly tap on that subscribe word on the screen and do not forget to tap on the bell as well for all the notifications <music> Now, various church leaders have called upon government to release political prisoners who were arrested last year during and after the campaigns. Now, the leadership of NUP led by His Excellency Bobby Wine many times has tried to call upon government to release these guys in prison, but their calls have fallen on deaf ears. Now, Pastor Joseph Serwada says President Museveni's government need to improve on how they treat opposition members. Otherwise, as a country, we are painting a very bad picture to the outside world. Ukulonda kwangu mibidi mwabili mugumu tekwali nyo kwangu wadenga twali mugalo era nako kwali muko ebintu ebirumira akati ebintu bine bigenda birumira lumira wanone wali bijja yo Uganda bubi na abali jogedde ko bulunji ne besala Rwanda mwamuli debo yetezeo kati jamai kaloza nti Rwanda singa Uganda amagezi Okuva mwaka gwa 2022 mwabili wabadde wo reporter ezo kwata abantu okubatulugunya na abamu okubasiwa kigambibwa abantu bana abamu abasibibwa kwesonga ziba za byabufuzi Uganda ene elimu bana byabufuzi abechejo echo te kiganibwa era basobola kokogera ekintu chonna ne kitali kitufu now he also said as church they are trying their best to make sure that there is dialogue between the opposition and the government and hopefully that will happen soon well, there you go. That is Pastor Joseph Serrada. Well, in other news, recently I told you that Jacob Olanya's father, that is Mzein Nathan Okori, said the investigation Uganda police has launched about the poisoning of the late Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, is useless. Now, I also told you that the Minister of Internal Affairs, that is Kahinda Otafiri, supported the summoning of Mzei Nathan Okori. But he said officers from Uganda police should go to Omoro, not Mzei Nathan coming to Kampala. I said now, don't uh, uh, treat Mzei Okori to the indignity of somebody in Kampala. Let the police go to, and talk to him. And why do you want to talk to him? Because there are things Okori could have wanted to say he couldn't say publicly. So the police goes to him and says, Muzei, is there something else you have wanted to say but you didn't say publicly? Can you help us? Is there something you know that we don't that could help us to follow this complaint of yours? Now, the latest news I have on the Buzz UG is that Muzei Nathan Okori has said he's not going to give any details to Uganda police. He says even if police drives to his home, he's not going to tell them anything in regards to this matter. Otherwise, they are just wasting their time. He says, because how do you investigate a matter that has no suspects? Muzei Nathan Okori says, I did not mention any names. I did not mention any suspects. I did not say this person and this person did poison my son. So how do you come out and you start telling me that I should make a statement and yet I did not mention any names in my statement? So Muzei Nathan Okori says, Uganda police, you're just wasting your time. He's not going to give you any details. He's not going to say anything in regards to this matter. So just take a chill pill. <laughs> that is Muzei Nathan Okori, the late Jacob Olanya's father. And of course, for more details, I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. What you got to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.